走り続けても、and just find the means. What is up, my bros? It's your boy 2K r o s on the Bugsman channel, bringing you another action figure toy review. This time, we're taking a look at the SH figure at Shinko Choseho Masked Rider f i e s or Kamen Rider f i e s、uh, depending on how you want to say it. <laughs> But yeah, this was an August 2023 retail release,、uh, and this is our first foyer into f i e s Shinko Choseho. Now, I never got the original f i e s so I was really happy to get this. I did get the figure I standard in its place, and honestly, having the two. With each other, this blows out of the water. I'm, I'm just gonna say that out, right? <laughs> but yeah, as I mentioned, this was a retail release, and I got mine from Hobby Link Japan. Yeah, I actually managed to get a pre order of this guy from Hobby Link Japan.、Um, not a sponsor. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, it's in the standard Shinkocho Seho packaging, so you know the nice, very, very nice cover sleeve with f i e s right on the front. Now, there is a special store over in Japan that does have like a slide on、uh, cover for this. That honestly, the graphic looks really cool.、Uh, unfortunately, I did not get that because obviously I got this from HLJ, not the specialty store. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the box. So, like I said, the cover sleeve standard mask writer f i e s here on the side because f i e s was a pre decade common writer. So, mask writer is how they pretty much put the names for all of them back then. We got f i e s here on the back showing the feature that the f i e s phone actually can flip up and fold out. For the henshin sequence, he can do the pose, <laughs> and、uh, there we have him doing his rider kick with the f i e s pointer attached to his ankle. And of course, you know that just looks great. And of course, Master Rider f i e s again here on the side. But we're gonna take a look at f i e s real quick and also go over his accessories, articulation, and compare it with other figures from the SH Trigross line as well as domestic. So let's get into and it. And here is f i e s right out of the packaging literally, right out of the packaging. This is how he looks, <laughs> he comes with these relaxed hands. Over here, which、um, he is able to use, or what he does use when he does his pose. So, real quick, I'm gonna try and recreate that again. I had him in the pose earlier, but I did put him in his vanilla pose so that way you guys could see him as he is. So, may as well actually do that to do the articulation segment. So, standard Shinko c h o s e h o or figure arts head articulation. His shoulder pads are actually now attached to the torso, unlike the usual where it's like on. t o u c h the shoulder so he can put his arm this far up, that far back, and he can, of course, actually go beyond the T pose. He can almost Y pose. He's got the standard bicep s w i v e l over there, double j o i n t elbows that go this far in, wrist articulation, diaphragm joint that goes this far in, that far back, of course, full rotation, waist articulation, and rotation, gonna go this far forward with that waist joint. That far back with the waist joint. Standard Shikocho Seho style hips. So kick this far forward, that far back. Actually, whoa, that's, <laughs> that's very far back. That's not expected at all. <laughs> But again, f i e s has that crotch pose that I told you guys about. But kick this far out.、So、yeah, dang, f i e s can nearly do a full split kick. Oh, and there's a f i e s phone going. <laughs> Put it back on. Double joint knees that go this far in. And because this little piece right here is soft plastic, you can actually kick very far up, far back. And of course, he has toe articulation. So let's get him into that pose I've told you guys about. So, what you want to do first, position his arms, turn his head like this. Back like that, foot like that, this foot right here, like this. You guys can see it. Well, maybe I have to look close to the camera to show it, but <laughs> that. Turn his elbow in, next hand, like so. This arm has to go a little bit further down and turn his head like this. This guy was crouching, slash, getting ready to do the rider kick pose. And yeah, man, that just looks that just looks great. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with how this f i e s f i g u r e s came out. So, now that you've seen his articulation, let's go over his accessories. So, as you saw, the f i e s phone does pop out. Whoops. 
uh, might as well just take it out anyway. So let's go ahead and just put him back in his uh, vanilla pose real quick. So the Fi's phone, the Fi's pointer, and the Fi shot are all disconnectable. You can di you can take them off. <laughs> disconnectable. It's not even a word. Because he comes with those in their different configurations. Now, what I mentioned earlier is that the Fi's phone can fold open, which is really cool. But we do also have a Fi's phone without the little Fi's piece right there. I keep forgetting the name of it. <laughs> but the indicator, the little logo symbol. So you have two Fi's phones, essentially. You also have the Fi's phone in its gun form. You have this little extra piece that you could put down on his body. I think this is supposed to actually go for this side where the Fi shot would be normally. So the empty Fi shot holder. Because then you have the Fi shot here with the indicator already on it. It's a little knuckle buster, a little brass knuckle for Fi's. And then the Fi's pointer with the, or yeah, Fi's pointer with the indicator on there. And it, of course, attaches here for his rider kick. But yeah, that's really cool. So in terms of hands, Fi's has these relaxed hands, like I said, out of the packaging. Stand back up, right? Again. He has these trigger finger hands for when he's holding the Fi's phone in gun mode. Or actually, he can also, I think... No, wait. There's this these pair of hands. So gripping hands for the Fi's shot. Another pair of kind of relaxed hands here. Fisted hands. More of a, like he has like a lot of a just kind of more neutral hands-ish, but this I think is actually meant for, is it actually meant for the Fi's phone? No, it's the other one that's for the Fi's phone. I can't remember what these are for. <laughs> but he has those pairs of hands too. But yeah, let's go ahead and get out other figures to compare him with. All right, because I mentioned him already, here is the figureized standard Fies. Next to Fies. And you can see what I meant when I say it blows him out of the water. Better proportions. Obviously not hollow at all. Let me see if I can get him to stand straight forward. Yeah, you can see a little more stability there with Fives too. <laughs> and now here we have his fellow August releases. Kamen Rider Dainigo, aka Masked Rider number two from Shin Kamen Rider, and Nago, Beat Form from Geats. So let me go ahead and get them setting them straight. So as of this recording, I put up that poll on Twitter to decide who would be the next review after Fies. Well, actually, who would be the next review? So Fies went out first, Nagos will be going up the following week, and Nigo will go up the week after that. But yeah, actually, let me just move this whole thing back there for now, so I can see all four of them in frame. But as you can see, Fies is standard Shinkocho Seho size, so he stands only a tad bit taller than Nigo, or for, than Nago. <laughs> And then Dainigo is, of course, really tall, so he's actually taller than figure I standard Fies, which is funny. A little closer together so you can see how tall he is compared to Fies. All right. And of course, we're going to bring out our domestic figures here because I am have another comparison I want to do, but I'm going to cut that. So here is the cell shaded Walmart exclusive Spider Man. And here is Gia Toys Ryu. 
So yeah, let's give it a cut real quick so you guys can see the other comparison I want. And to here do. is Fives with all of the first ten Heisei Riders. We've got Kuga, Agito, Yuki, Fives, Blade, Hibiki, Kabuto, Deno, Kiba, and Decade. Of course, the only two outliers here are Yuki and Blade, who are figurized standards, not Shinko Chosehos. They're the only two of the first ten that still need to have a Shinko Chosehos made. Who are you hoping that they make next? But as you see here, I try to get them in somewhat signature poses as I could. <laughs> it is a little bit difficult. Uh, as you can tell, Hibiki and Kabuto are both two of the very earliest uh, Shinkocho Seihos. Um, Hibiki, actually, that was the first Eche Three Quarts Hibiki was a Shinkocho Seiho. So they are kind of outdated, but Hibiki and Kabuto still both look good. Hopefully, if they ever decide to do remakes, uh, Kabuto will be remade because honestly, I think he's the weakest of this group. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, I, I just love the fact that now I have a Shinko Chuseo Fies to fit into this collection. Uh, you know, it's a lot more stable. Because Ryuki and Blade, don't get me wrong, they are very nice figure standards. They actually feel a lot more stable than Fies, because obviously they came afterward and a lot more thought and care was put into their engineering. So, yeah, this is the shot. So, if you guys happen to like this review, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as check out other videos on our channel. Like I said, upcoming after this will be the SH Figure Arts Nago Beat Form review, and then the SH Figure Arts Mask Fighter 2, aka Kamen Rider Dainigo review. Uh, I already took all their pictures though, as of this review, um, so you can pay attention to my Twitter, uh, TrueKROs, or my Blue Sky, TrueKROs, <laughs> or my Instagram, which is Regimen93, or my Threads, which is also Regimen93. As well as check out the show's Twitter, which is Bugs2Men, and Gary's Twitter, which is GBakes93. So if you haven't liked this review, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, like I said, and, you know, stay tuned for the photos. See ya!